Hi, Bruno from RVing TV, and today we're going to take a look at a 2022 Coleman by Dutchman RV. This is an 1855 RB floor plan. Now, the 1855 RB floor plan is a single axle ultra light trailer. Coleman, very well known brand. This is a Coleman Light, which is an aluminum framed trailer. This trailer weighs in at 4,240 pounds dry weight and has 1,220 pounds cargo capacity. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know I talk about cargo capacity. 1,220 pounds for a regular trailer is not huge. However, seeing that that is on a single axle, that is very good as most single axles have only somewhere in the range of 500 to 800 pounds capacity. So 1220 is a very respectable weight uh, for cargo for a single axle trailer. Let's look at some of the features of this Coleman. Um, actually, before I do, I should say a special thank you to Bella Vista RV in Oro Medante, Ontario for giving us access to this Coleman and a few others to do a few videos so that we could bring you some of the latest floor plans to the channel. So thank you to them. For information on these Coleman's, visit their website at www.bellavistarv.com as a special thank you from us. If you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe. We are trying to push past the 10,000 subscriber mark. So thank you for that. Now back to the 1855. This is a single axle trailer with a single slide and it actually has a Murphy bed. But let's look at some of the outside features that we're going to use during camping and that you'll want to pay attention to. Like most trailers, it does have a front power tongue jack, a great feature these days, but it's becoming more and more standard itself. What isn't standard on a number of trailers is a molded fiberglass cap, and it's a little hard to see. I'll come up close with LED accent lighting on the cap itself. You can turn that on with a switch in the storage area. We have a really good large stone guard up front to keep any stones off of that fiberglass cap. Now what we have to the side here is you're going to see the solar on the side plug-in. So it has a solar prep plug-in already, which is a nice touch. They use doors that are magnetic catches for their storage, which is a great little feature. Um, our switch for the front caps is just right there. And then we do also have an LED light, uh, uh, light bar for the storage area. Now the trailer comes with an Elite Series griddle. I'll show you in a moment where that can be hooked up. And from construction, we're gonna see the aluminum support for the bed itself here. And that's, again, just because it is an aluminum trailer itself, aluminum framing. But nice, clean storage area. Power stabilizer jacks front and back is a nice touch. Very simple and easy to use. Push the button, the jacks will come down. Now you notice sometimes one jack on one end will come down when it makes contact then the second jack will come down and then they will stabilize. Now if you're new to RVing, these are just for stabilizing. So you'll notice as it comes down, it puts pressure. They're for stabilizing, not for lifting. When you're done at the end of the day or at your end of your trip, I should say, push the retract. And it's a nice simple process in reverse. Gone are the days of going into your truck or your SUV to get your um, portable drill or compact driver and trying to, to put the manual jacks down nice and easy. And you can see how quick you can set up. These do have the Lippert solid steps, so they're nice and solid to go up and down. 
and then they couple that with the large grab handle for making ease of entrance and, and exit very easy. Being that we're in Ontario, this trailer has been built to CSA standards, something that you should look for if you're in an Ontario province. And right at your entrance where you're going to have your picnic table off to the side here, we have a plug-in for TV and a power plug so you can connect electric grills, etc. But that griddle that we saw up front can be placed right here on this support. Here's our rear stabilizer jacks, but for the griddle, we do have our propane connection here. Since we're down here and looking up, you'll notice that it is a sealed underbelly, so that will make towing a little easier, less airflow getting caught up underneath the trailer, as well as it'll extend out your season a little bit because it'll be warmer inside. There is a black tank flush right here on the trailer. And then you'll notice the awning as we step back. The awning is a nice large awning, essentially covering the entire trailer. And it's a little hard to see because it's very sunny, but there is an LED light strip underneath that power awning. And there's two uh, outside speakers so you can listen to music while you're outside. The windows are deep tinted, and this window is at our kitchen, so we're going to have lots of natural light. Coleman has equipped the unit with an outside shower. You have your spare tire. The spare tire is on a black rim. Our other tires are aluminum rims, and it is prepped already for the Furion Vision S camera system. So that's just a plug and play system. You can see that in one of our unboxing videos to give you an idea of its flexibility. We have our power, city water connection, cable, TV connection here at the side, and our dump station below. Now something to note, Coleman is using a cable system for their slides. For those of you who maybe aren't familiar with cable systems, cable systems actually give you the most even pull in and out when the slides are being moved and give you positive pressure at all four corners, giving you the best seal that's available. So a little fun fact if you're new to cable systems. The key is cable systems have to be weighted properly for their use and the size of the slide. What's really nice is when you have a small slide like this, they're a great option to look at. Um, underneath, we talked about construction earlier. I always like to look for these wiper or splash, or sorry, splash guards that are underneath the slides that'll direct water away from all your slides and all the slide components and seals. So it just gives you that extra level of protection. As we make our way around, here's the opposite side of our storage. And now that we've walked all around the unit, let's go take a look inside. Um, and as we walk to the door, I will point out, as I didn't cover it earlier, I mentioned that they're aluminum, but there's a nice look. They're a silver with a gray painted portion on it as well. Let's take a walk inside and look at this great little floor plan. If you're thinking of something small and lightweight, nice little layout because as you notice, I'll try to step back as far as I can to the front corner so you can see how wide and how much open space you have. So being a smaller floor plan, you don't want to feel like you're closed in. The slide out is a nice feature because you have a nice big dinette in the slide with a large window just opening up the living space. Now something to consider, we have our TV prep at the back. So you want to make sure you have room to get that slide out where you're camping so you can see the TV. And then there's some storage here as well. We have a nice kitchen. Now one thing I like about these Coleman's is I like the farmhouse sinks that they use. And if you watched one of our other videos, I commented, it's that gray stainless steel. Looks super, super elegant. It's a farmhouse sink. 
So it just fits beautifully in here. I like their countertops that they use. Just nice coloring behind them. We have some storage below the sink as well we have our regular traditional three burners so you have the glass top so you can use it as a prep area or simple flip back and it's opened up for cooking and you've got three burners as well you can hit that button and the knobs light up as well as the light inside the oven so nice little oven microwave above we do have a vent hood that vents to the outside. We have some storage up here. So really decent storage for a small unit. We have a traditional Dometic propane electric fridge. And this is a good size fridge. It's the larger Dometic. So you have good storage there. Now I mentioned earlier, this is a Murphy bed layout. So we have a jackknife sofa. There is storage, because I've seen a few of these type of floor plans where they actually don't take advantage of the storage under the sofa, that the sofa sits on a box. This sofa gives you that storage underneath. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit different. We're going to show you the operation of the Murphy bed rather than just tell you it's a Murphy bed. So this is going to take a moment while I put the camera down. And the sound may change because we're going to disconnect the microphone. Okay, so now we're going to look at the Murphy bed. There's power plugs on both sides, which is nice. We mentioned we have the high, or I call it a hide a bed sofa. It's a hide a bed style sofa. So it falls flat. In this unit, we're not going to use it for sleeping, but they use the hide a bed for that clearance. So during the day, you can sit and be comfortable. Now it's time to go to bed. You simply unlock both locks. I've already unlocked one ahead of time. Push in gently, lower the bed platform down. And this is something unique. I've seen the hide of beds where they put the full mattress and there's a fair amount of weight moving it back and forth. Here they've gone with a special mattress combination that actually folds out and drops in place, which I thought was a bit of a neat idea because it gives you that flexibility not to have as much weight. And I'll just tilt the camera over a little more to have not as much weight, but still have that nice big mattress. It's a full mattress, so it's very comfortable. Then when you're done in the morning, it's really easy. You could leave your linens on here, take this, fold it up and over, give it a little push in there, and I would normally just go to the side here, give that a little push, it's tucked away, lift up the bed, lock it in place, go to the other side, lock it in place, and then put up our sofa, and now you can kick back. Also because of the open space here, you could look to carry an ottoman with you to be able to put your feet up. So just a nice little feature. It's a twist on a floor plan that has been used for a while with some unique features added to it. Um, now, so let's take a look now at our washroom at the back. We have a traditional toilet. Now this is a standard toilet, plastic toilet, not the porcelain. We're going for a little bit of weight savings here. We have some nice storage under our sink and it's a good size sink. We have a good medicine cabinet, right? So decent storage space with a mirror. Hello everyone. We also have mirrors on some extra storage. So they've taken advantage of the space here at the side instead of just leaving it open space 
making the washroom a little bigger, you need the extra storage. So I like this, there's two drawers here, and we have a nice large wardrobe with hanging right here as well, so that you have that extra space for the goods that you need to carry. We also have a nice large shower. You can see that's a large shower pan with the full surround and it's that textured surround so it gives it a nicer finish overall. It's nice and tall and if you're extra tall they have the skylight there so you have the head clearance but you also get the natural light and directly above us we have a powered fan to get humidity and steam out after you've done the shower. They also use a nice colored shower curtain here just to finish off the look. The Coleman light does have the Wi-Fi prep already here. We do have a rooftop AC as well. So it's just a nice neat little package and at 4,200 pounds, boy, there's a lot of small vehicles that could pull this save you from having to upgrade your tow vehicle. So if you're in the market for an ultralight small unit, want something that's aluminum framed, a little bit lighter, um, but bigger in size than, than what a wood trailer is going to run you because of the extra weight of the wood, uh, Coleman Light might be an, an option. I do like the finishings. I like that they have put the cable slide on, the prep for the solar panels, some nice, really nice features that they've placed here. Um, they're also going to give you gas electric water heater on board, and that's a nice touch, even though you're likely only traveling as a couple in a unit like this. If either of you like a little hotter shower, you can turn the electric and the gas on at the same time, to get a higher refresh rate of the water coming through your hot water tank. So nice little fun fact for those of you new at the RVing or maybe have a gas electric and no one's explained that feature. So I'm gonna say thank you again to Bella Vista. I do like to thank the dealers that give me the opportunity to look at the various floor plans so I can bring them to you, our subscribers on our channel. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please feel free to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and the bell, and you'll be notified of new videos as they come available. For more information on this unit and other Coleman units, please look up Bella Vista at www.bellavistarv.com. I will put a link below in the comments area. If there's a floor plan you'd like to see, please send us a comment and a note and we'll see what we can do to get that uh, reviewed. If there's any parts you'd like to have reviewed, let us know as well. Bruno from RVing TV, thanking you and Bella Vista RV for making this video possible. So thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you back at the channel. Have yourself a great day and make sure you live your life to the fullest. Take care.